Hey everybody, welcome back to Zero Distortion. So I have totally fallen for it too, thinking I was doing more by doing everything at once. I told myself I was getting more done, but all I was really doing was scattering my focus and calling it progress. We've turned distraction into a lifestyle and called it multitasking. But multitasking isn't productivity, it's really fragmentation, and it's costing us focus, clarity, and depth. Hey, but before we break this down, I'm going to ask you to multitask one last time. Hit that like, subscribe, and alert bell, and then give your full attention for the next few minutes, because this one might change how you think about getting things done. So neuroscience has been calling out this myth for years. The brain doesn't actually do multiple things at once. It switches between them, and every switch comes with a cost. The American Psychological Association calls it switching cost. So every time you jump between tasks, you lose focus, accuracy, and up to 40% of your productivity. That's not efficiency. You're really just bleeding focus. And here's the part most people don't want to hear. The people who think they're great at multitasking, yeah, and I was one of them, we're actually the worst at it. That comes from a Stanford study. Researchers found that heavy multitaskers had more trouble filtering out irrelevant information, organizing their thoughts, and remembering details. They weren't sharper. They were scattered. Another study out of the University of London found that switching between digital tasks, so think email, your phone, Slack messages, that temporarily drops your IQ by as much as 10 to 15 points. I can't drop points on my IQ. That's roughly the same as staying up all night. And the University of Sussex, well, they found that people who constantly juggle multiple screens, so TV, phone, laptop, they actually had less gray matter in the part of the brain that handles empathy and emotional control. So think about that. The more we multitask, the less we connect, both mentally and emotionally. So the cost isn't just focus, it's depth, it's connection, it's clarity but we still do it because it feels good. That's the real trap. Every time we switch tasks, we get a little dopamine hit, that tiny burst of satisfaction that says, I'm doing something. It doesn't matter if it's useful or not. We mistake motion for progress. We tell ourselves we're getting things done, but most of the time we're just chasing stimulation. A few seconds of novelty, a few seconds of validation. We're not working faster. We're just interrupting ourselves more efficiently. And the cost of this noise is subtle, but it's everywhere. Your brain never resets. Your attention never fully lands. Conversations become half listening sessions. Your creativity drops because you never sit long enough to get bored. And boredom is where original thought begins. We think multitasking makes us adaptable. It doesn't. It makes us distracted, drained, and disconnected from what actually matters. You can't think deeply when your brain's on shuffle. Focus is the new competitive advantage. In a world addicted to noise, clarity is actually rebellion. The people who will thrive in the next decade, they're not the ones doing the most. They're the ones doing what matters fully. You don't need another time management hack. You need attention management. Do one thing at a time intentionally. Let your brain finish a thought before jumping to the next one. Don't reward distraction with your attention. Because every time you choose to do one thing well, you're taking your mind back from the machine. I mean, multitasking, it's not mastery. It's surrender. Focus is the new power. Hey, thanks for listening, and we'll catch you next time.